Everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. And today it is another new product. I've been hitting you with a lot of new products over the last couple of weeks. This is another one that's been out for about a week or so, but it's the first time that I have opened it on the channel. It is 2024 Tops Update Baseball. You've seen me open Series 1 and Series 2 throughout the year, and now Update is finally upon us and we are getting into a blaster box of this today you're looking for all kinds of exclusives in these blaster boxes as you can see here exclusive royal blue base card parallels we should find one or two of those in here two exclusive holiday base card parallels i believe that is halloween parallels we should see two of those though i believe it's also possible to pull three so we'll get at least two also, uh, I believe there's something else. Uh, oh, here it is. Let him cook inserts. I don't know what that is. I, I'm trying to imagine what that's going to be, and I, none of it makes sense to me. Autumn Tales, which sounds very nice. And uh, All-Star Game Black Gold and Heavy Lumber, which are particularly tough to pull. Of course, you can also get autos and mem cards out of tops. So let's get into this box of update. 2024 and see how we do out of this first box. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, it is Tuesday. So I open this. We had a lot of snow over the weekend here in the mountains and uh, my kids were delighted to get out and play in that. As always, practice good knife safety and keep these blades out of the reach of small children. Let's get into this box. It has does not tell me on uh, seven packs and 12 cards per pack. You do the math on that. Sounds like 712 cards to me, but I'm sure that's not right. At least there's not that much of the uh, rarefied tops air in this uh, blaster, really. Uh, that's that's pretty good compared to most of the blasters that we've been opening on this channel. So let's get out those seven packs, put them there, dispose of that, and see what we have here. So that's what you're looking at for update packs. I uh, Maybe I'll just leave these. I usually shuffle these up a little bit. Maybe I will shuffle them up. I don't know. Shuffle them up and just kind of scatter them around Put the last pack first and the first pack last and all of that good stuff and just do it that way. It's more fun to shuffle them up and not leave them in the order that Topps package packages them in, in my opinion. Alright, let's see what these cards are like, what these update cards bring us this year. We start off with Paul Skins to start things off. That is a sweet pull right there, Stars of the MLB Rookie Card. Paul Skeens. That is awesome. That is a nice, nice first card to get out of our first pack of 2024 update. Pete Crow Armstrong behind that, and that is a mystical one. That's a pretty cool card. Look at the foily accents on that, kind of a planetary thing going on behind a Pete Crow Armstrong. Another rookie insert, so that's pretty sweet. Maybe I opened these in the wrong order. I think I must have. It looks like, uh, looks like we have a Halloween insert in here as well. So I'm going to flip these over and then we'll save that Halloween insert till last. Jason Dominguez, another nice rookie card. Three rookies to start this pack off. That is very nice. I have no complaints about that. Very nice Dominguez rookie there. Another rookie, Zach Deloach from Chicago. And Matt Sauer. This thing is chock full of rookies. That is a nice product. Jared Walsh rounding the bases for the Rangers. Another rookie there, Robert Gasser from Milwaukee, Jose Buto, and Christian Encarcinon Strand from the Reds. Another good young player from them. That's a nice card. A lot of good rookies in here. Sideways card of, wow, another Paul Skeens card. Look at that. That is awesome. And we got, uh, wow, that is cool. A Josh Gibson card out of here. Now, if you follow the channel, you know I collect Josh Gibson cards, so that is a nice addition to my PC right there. All-time batting average leader. That is sweet. I don't know if I've ever seen that picture of him sliding into a uh, home there, sending up quite the cloud of dust. That is awesome. Really excited to see that. That definitely goes in the wolf lair. And Alex Wood. And then our Halloween insert is Jack O'Lanterns and Adel Mauro Vargas from the Nats. Very cool card there. Making sure you can see all of the chrominess and coolness of that card. So that's pretty sweet. That was a nice pack. Nice mystical insert, a Halloween parallel, and a couple of very nice cards there for my PC. So what do you think of this product? Let me know in the comments. Always like to know what you guys think. 
and uh, get an idea of whether or not you'll be buying some of this product. Joe Singleton, John Singleton rather, here, flipping the bat for Houston. Get that in focus before we go through this stack. Second pack of uh, Topps Update 2024, Tyler Rogers, with the underhand delivery for San Francisco. Rookie card of Addison Barger and Abraham Toro from the A's. Another rookie card here, Jonathan Cannon. Nice name for a pitcher, Cannon. Kyle Harrison, another rookie from the Giants there. And a sideways card of A's rookies, including two pitchers, Easton Lucas and Angel Felipe, both rookies. Jeffrey Springs, very pitcher-heavy pack. Eduardo Rodriguez, Matt Carpenter, and Tyler Black getting the bath there for the Brewers. Tops always seems to like to include those cards, the players getting doused in Gatorade or water or whatever they keep in those buckets. And then our Stars of the MLB card is Cody Bellinger. Put that over here. Go to our third pack of this uh, Topps 2024 update rip. I'm going to kind of miss, I have to be honest with you, I'm going to kind of miss the uh, the design. I really, I came to really like the design. It's kind of a neon look and everything, and I'm going to miss that design when... Uh, we finish out with 2024 cards. I'm curious to see what next year's design is. Here's another Halloween insert. It's Ren Pinto, catcher for the Rays. You can see this one. This is the basic one. This is the most basic one with just the stripes. The jack-o'-lantern one is not that rare. I think it's maybe the next level of rarity. So they promised us two. And uh, we may get a third, some pack, or some boxes rather. I know have a third in them, so we may get a third. But we got our two that we were promised. Luke Rally is our first base card out of here. And then Randy Rodriguez, another rookie pitcher. This thing is chock full of rookies, and a lot of them are pitchers. Emmett Sheehan, there's another one for you from the Dodgers. Tyler O'Neill and Victor Scott the second. We got another rookie card here with two players on it, Anthony Molina and Evan Justice. We've got Brett Harris, rookie for the A's, and Joey Votto there with the Blue Jays. Strange to see him in that uniform. we got Tobias Myers, rookie, another rookie pitcher here. And that is a big one. Whoa. That is a really nice card. That is uh, Yamamoto from the Dodgers. And that is a color match parallel of that royal blue that we were promised we'd pull one of. And wow, we couldn't have done much better than that. That is a really nice card of a highly talented Rookie, who of course is uh, someone you most recently saw in the World Series. So that's a pretty cool card. Really nice pull there. I like that one a lot. It's definitely a Wolf Lair card for me. Here's one of the Let em Cook inserts, and I was wondering what these would look like or why they're called that. There's Aaron Judge, and I see no kitchen utensils anywhere in this picture, so it's very confusing to me as what's going on here. Um, yeah, nothing back here about any recipes or cooking of any kind, so that's a confusing card to me. Royce Lewis is our Stars of the MLB card. Not a bad pack. I really like that Yamamoto card in the blue color match parallel, which I always enjoy the color match parallels. All right, what do we have here? We have backwards card, which suggests that this is another Halloween insert, which would be awesome, and it is. It is the most common kind with the stripes. George Solar from the Giants, and I guess you could say that is a color match parallel too, with the orange stripes matching the orange in the Giants uniform. Nick Nastrini from the White Sox, another rookie pitcher in this update set. Scott Barlow, who looks frankly quite scary. He looks uh, like he's having some kind of war cry going on there for Cleveland. I don't know what's going on there. He's pumped about something or mad about something. I don't know. I've I'm afraid of that card. Andrew Kneiser from the Rangers. And another Giants card here. It's Austin Slater. We got a lot of Giants out of this blaster box. Davis Wenzel. We have not hit any Orioles, I would point out. Seth Lugo. And all smiles for the National League. Rivals make time for fun. I always like to see that. That's a weird card. We got uh, more Giants here because we haven't had enough of those. Nick Avila and Eric Miller rookie card. And another Giants rookie pitcher with Mason Black. And then we get uh, a Twins Carlos Santana leaping for joy. That's kind of a cool card. It looks like he's touching the uh, the Twins neon sign there. That's kind of cool. Our Stars of the MLB card is Royce Lewis, who we just got 
in the last pack. This one is the Chrome, though, as you can see by the uh, logo up there in the corner. So we get the regular and the Chrome version of that card. Thank you so much for that, Tops. And O'Neill Cruz is our regular Stars of the MLB that we pull out of there. I always like O'Neill Cruz. I think he still has not reached his full potential. He's one of those guys who I think could really just, you know, turn into a major, major star in the league. He can just kind of... I don't know. The Pirates have a lot of good young players, though, so maybe he will come alive next season. We'll see how that goes. White Sox start this back off with... Lenin Sosa, their third baseman. Nats player Joey Gallo, and another rookie here with Wyatt Langford. We get a sideways guard of Ryan Yarbrough from the Dodgers. The A's show us Miguel Andahar, and another rookie card of two players here, this time the White Sox, Edgar Navarro and Lane Ramsey. We got Alex Verdugo sliding into third for the Yankees, and George Alcala, from the Twins. Graham Pauly, another rookie here, and a backwards card of, wow, that's a pretty one. Colin Holderman is the uh, player featured there, another young pitcher for the Pirates. And uh, that's uh, not numbered or anything. Oh, it is numbered. I thought it might be. Here's the 999. That one is number two. That's a pretty card. Boy, I'd like to get a color match of that for a team that wears blue, maybe the Dodgers or something like that. It's a really pretty card. Blue sparkle parallel of some kind. I'll put it over there. Tyler Glasnow. And I believe that is an all-star card. It doesn't say anything about it on the front, but he's in his all-star uniform. He needs a haircut desperately, but uh, yeah, that is an all-star one of Tyler Glasnow, so that's kind of a special card in and of itself. A.J. Smith Schoiver there for the Braves, and that is our rookie stars of the MLB. We get to our penultimate pack. It's the first box tops update that we have opened in the 2024 season. We have another backwards card starting things off there. Could it be another Halloween card? We were promised two. We've already gotten three. Could this be another? I think it could be, and it is. Once again, the stripes, at least this one is a rookie. It's Blake Walston on the uh, Halloween stripe card there. Ellie Dela Cruz, very nice to pull one of his rookies out of here. There's his base set rookie debut, Ellie Dela Cruz. It looks like he's a little reluctant to be uh, running into home there, or wherever he's running to. He doesn't look happy about it. Put that one in the Wolf Lair. Why not? Jesse Chavez and Brandon Crawford ready to take a swing for the Cardinals. We finally get an Orioles card here in our penultimate pack. It is a good one, though. It's the Jackson Holiday rookie base card. Not too bad. Happy to get that one. Definitely a PC card for me. Lucas Giolito there and Michael Lorenzen. Lots of pitchers in this set. Mason Wynn, I think he's going to be a good player. He's with the Cardinals and what I saw of him this past season, I thought showed a lot of potential. Michael Wacha, George Alcala, who I believe we've already pulled, and Graham Pauly, who I believe we pulled as well. Here's our second tops chrome of the blaster. It's Davis Schneider and his mustache playing for the Blue Jays. Nice rookie stars of the MLB. And Jackson Chioro. Oh, this must have been a chrome. Yes, it is. The uh, rookie of Davis Schneider was a chrome. And this is the regular stars of the MLB of another good rookie player, Jackson Chioro from the Brewers. We come to our last pack. We'll see what we get out of here. Remember, I shuffled these up, so uh, I don't know that I expect anything sensational out of the last pack, but you never know. Sometimes I have luck and manage to put the best pack on the bottom, and sometimes it doesn't work out that way. I don't think it's going to work out that way this time, but we'll see how it goes. Andy Pages from the Dodgers there, another nice rookie card coming out of here. A lot of rookies in update, which is why I like this product so much. Matt Face and Colt Keith for the Tigers, tip in the cap to uh, somebody in the stands, I guess. I don't know. Nice rookie card of that player there. Austin Hedges from the Guardians, David Robertson and Isaiah Kiner Falefa. We have Darian Blanco and another rookie from the Giants. Man, did we get Giants out of this blaster or what? Mason Black there, another rookie pitcher for the Giants. Carlos Santana leaping yet again. We finally get one of these throwback design cards. I was thinking maybe they didn't include them in here or something, but anyway, you got Ozzy Albies in the 1989 throwback design. You can see the back is this also in the uh, throwback, so that's pretty cool. Put that in its own stack. We get another Oriole. It's Adley Rushman. 
And this is another all-star card, though it doesn't say anything about it being an all-star card on the front. You can tell because he's wearing his all-star uniform and then it says on the back. So nice Adley Rushman. That's definitely a Wolf Lair card for me because I collect Orioles. Anthony Volpe is our last stars of the MLB card. I like it. I don't know. I always like update though because you get a ton of rookies and there's lots of Seems like there are lots of inserts, and I really like what Topps has been doing with these holiday-themed parallels. We didn't pull anything exceptional in that regard, but it's still really fun to open blasters where you get some extra parallels in there. I really like that that Topps does that. Uh, I don't know why Glasnow is in there. You can go over there. He can be an all-star over there. The Let Him Cook insert is confusing to me because it has nothing to do with cooking, and I guess it looks like maybe Aaron Judge is... I don't know. He looks a little steaming, maybe? Is that, I mean bring that up to the camera so you can see what I'm talking about. Kind of looks like steam is coming off the guy. I don't know. That's weird to me. I, I disagree with that insert. I like this one a lot, though. The mystical insert's definitely cool. However, I'm just noticing this very creepy and unsettling panda bear thing going on down there by the mystical logo, and I do not like it. I don't approve of that, and I don't know why they would just sort of shoehorn that in there. It's, it's not right. And it should not be on this card. I mean, if we just hold it like that, it's kind of a beautiful card. You see what I'm saying? You see a lot of foil there and pretty design. But then you do that, and it becomes very creepy, and I'm unsettled by it. Cards in the Wolf Lair this time. We got some Orioles, which is always nice, including a Jackson Holiday rookie, Ellie Dela Cruz rookie, a color match parallel of Yamamoto. I like that a lot. Josh Gibson. I did not know he was in this set, and that is a real nice addition for me and of course we started off with Paul Schemes and that is a, a pretty cool rookie card. Let me know what you think of the product in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you don't mind. It certainly helps the channel and I appreciate it a great deal. I'll be back tomorrow with my pack battle with Average Joe and we'll be opening up a relatively new product. It's one you've seen me recently open on the channel and we're going to get into another blaster of it tomorrow. It's one that I know you guys like so you won't want to miss that. Thursday is anything can happen day. Of course, Friday is Dorking with Dice. We do it every Friday, and I enjoy it a great deal. Thanks so much for coming out to the channel today. Hope you're having a great start to your week, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. As always, happy collecting.